The numbers are staggering when it comes to nursing home deaths in New York State. More than 3,400 people have died so far. But there's a facility on Long Island with no suspected cases. CBS 2's Jenna DeAngelis has this. During the socially distant time, the residents at San Simeon by the Sound are holding signs, sending love to their families. A sign, they're doing well at the nursing home and rehabilitation center in Greenport, Long Island. This is a wonderful place. 95 year old Grace Deisman says staff also helps her keep in touch with her daughter through FaceTime to let her know. I am very healthy. Yeah. In order to keep it that way, visitation was suspended here on March 9th, one of the strict measures taken early on to keep the facility COVID free. They take my temperature every day. Everything's clean here. And they're afraid of that uh, stuff. I'm committed to it because I'm taking care of so many people's families. Director of Nursing Kelly Motero's commitment keeps her away from her own family. She hasn't been home since early March, staying at a hotel near the facility to try and protect the 94 residents here. There's no way I could do it myself. My team here is incredible. Before masked employees can enter, they're screened, have their temperature taken, and fill out a questionnaire. One symptom means staying home from work for two weeks paid. I don't want to take the chance, and then a week later, you know, they get more symptoms and it be, had been brought in here. The community based not for profit is also being selective with admission. But Motero says if the state mandates it take in COVID patients, the plan is to house them in a part of the building with a separate entrance. Her main focus is on keeping the residents here healthy. To be honest, it's definitely a lot of luck. I mean, the nursing home community is very small, and I know so many hardworking people in these other nursing homes that are dealing with this tragedy. Since the facility has not had any suspected cases, it has not had to test. But the director of nursing says if that changes, testing kits can and will be ordered. Jenna DeAngelis, CBS 2 News.